you mentioned one program that you have at the center that you're going to translate. Um, but do you offer other programs? Do you have uh, English classes? Do you have American citizenship, anything like that? Uh, yes, actually, we do provide c citizen classes, and we do have child development classes. Anything else? And parenting classes like we have here. Um, the PHC program, which is the Parent Child Home Program, is uh, it is funded by the Ch Children's Services Council, which they come one on one with the family and the children. They come to each house on their own time and teach them about educational uh, educational games that they can they can use. I have one other question: How many languages are there? There are twenty two languages. Indigenous languages. Wow. Thank you. You're welcome. Well, I can't imagine what it's like having to help a community with 22, uh, 22 languages. Um, again, I think your, your um, dress is, is beautiful, and thank you for uh, helping us understand the culture a little bit. Thank you. Um, with respect to the Guatemalan Resource Center, I'm sure they have lots of information, lots of materials that are already helping the community. So further my understanding, by explaining how you're extending what they can do, their outreach, and the effectiveness of the Guatemalan Resource Center. Um, the Guatemalan Maya Center, they have, we are trying to expand their help by making it easier for the people to have their help easy on hand, which is technology. Since it is so advanced, many use Facebook, and if we provide them information like hurricane alerts, tornado warnings, anything that could help them in the slightest, then it would be much easier for them. And since most of them cannot write in their language or speak Spanish, it just helps them a lot. Thank you. You're welcome. I have a Quick question. I'm always curious about what language do they, all your family that comes here that don't speak English, how do they communicate with each other? Um, my with, with, family, oh, I'm sorry. No, no, with the different okay. dialects and everything. Um, my family speaks mom, which is a indigenous languages. Um, my friends, my partners here, their families speak Kankoval. They usually use um, phone calls to communicate with each other, and it's usually by voice that they communicate with each other. Last question, John? My turn? Yep, your turn. So first of all, your culture, 2,000 years before Christ, incredible culture, what, what the Mayans have accomplished in this world, even in those early years, architecture, Chichen Itza, uh, uh, all of the various program governments that they created and understood and managed. They organized crops. They were totally, completely prepared and understood all of these wonderful things along the way. Mathematics, just as another example. Uh, so here's my question. Uh, is it not true that I am much better looking than Mr. Carp? <laughs> <laughs> You don't have to answer that, but, but we know the answer, right? <laughs> I think you both look equally as handsome. <laughs> oh, wow. Thank you. Thank you. Is that really your last question? <laughs> I feel like we have a little, like, um, the voice thing going on with Adam Levine and um, Blake Shelton with you two, kind of. Is, that's, that's your last question, well, right? No, my, my other question, okay. of course, is <laughs> I looked at your budget. You did ask for $15,000. You understand it. I, again, as I said earlier today, is the way in which you're going to deploy it, not just in your first year, but in future years going forward. That's the only, it's not even a question. It's a piece of advice to focus on. Thank you. Thank you so much for your advice.